Good afternoon, I'm Jim Williams. Welcome to our viewers on television and our digital streaming network, CBS News Chicago. I'm Marisa Vedra. We begin with new developments in that shootout between a woman and police in South Suburban Oak Forest. The CBS 2 investigators obtained this video. It shows the 21-year-old woman in a gun shop trying to buy more ammunition the morning of that shooting. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live. And Megan, you spoke exclusively with employees of the gun store. They refused to let her buy more bullets. Right, Jim and Marie, the manager confirmed that Katara Wilson was here on Sunday morning. She tried to buy a box of nine millimeter ammunition, which comes 50 rounds to a box. But the employees here refused to sell it to her because of the suspicious way that she was acting. They said that was their store policy here at the Eagle Sports Range in Oak Forest. They confirmed Wilson came in around 10 a.m. A since deleted Facebook Live video from a public Facebook account shows Wilson inside the store fighting with employees who tell her they do not feel comfortable selling her the ammunition because of the strange way that she was acting. When you think about what could have happened if she had more ammunition, um, are, are you yeah, proud of your employees? I really am. I really am. Um, and actually, when we do something like that, we are actually going to push a little bit more training. We did the right thing, and we're hoping everybody else does the right thing, too. Then around noon, Wilson fled from police who responded to a call of a driver in distress. Oak Forest police officers attempted to take Wilson to the hospital for a mental health evaluation. She ran from that accident to a barber shop and then towards the Food for Less supermarket. Police said Wilson and an officer fired at each other. They were both struck by gunfire. Wilson died, and that officer is in serious but stable condition tonight. Now, Eagle Sports Range confirmed that Wilson had a valid Floyd card and was also trying to sign up for a concealed carry class when they turned her away because of her behavior. They said she was on the phone. She seemed very agitated and unholstered her gun on a few occasions, which also made them very uncomfortable. Now, Illinois State Police wouldn't tell me today whether or not they were made aware of this incident at the gun store before or after the shooting. They say this is still an ongoing investigation. And again, that officer is still recovering tonight. Live in Oak Forest, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.